All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings Three Tours and Tournaments Part Four. And here we are at Amun Ra's Refuge. We're actually about to turn eleven. We have to figure out what territory we're handing out and who to. I think off camera, I decided that we were going to hand An and Nahud over to Habib, as long as Habib converts. If he doesn't convert, I might just have to give it to Ku. And then kind of have, like, Q control, like, Wadi El Milk and the two counties here for, like, this whole, like, dead desert region. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see. I also saw a couple other things. First off, uh, I wanted to say thank you to Ramon, Meow, Loremaster, uh, Lisa Gordon, and Zombie Forever for your comments. Really appreciate it. Loremaster made a good point that actually Lotharingi was taken by Italy, not the other way around. King Louis the Younger is from Italy. So Italy took Lotharingia. And now they're probably about to lose a lot of territory to West Francia. So it, it's all getting traded up here. Some crazy stuff. The Arabian Empire, I can't imagine how many losses they took over one single county that the Byzantine Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, is taking from them right now. But the Eastern Roman Empire won this battle easily. That's not close. So the Arabian Empire showing that at least right now... They're definitely no Eastern Roman Empire. Uh, Mercuria could have made a kingdom. They have 11 counties and you only need 12 in Nubia to make it. So, had we not taken Wadi El Milk and had these people here... Not these people. And had the uh, Alumari Emirate, I think it was, not taken Kurda. If not for both of those, they could make a kingdom once they had the money for it. Which probably won't be for a while, but now we don't have to worry about them actually making a kingdom. Good for us. Alright, sorry about that. So, let's go ahead and... Try to convert Habib. Habib, just cooperate. It's not going to be the end of the world if we have to give it to Ku. You know, that is what it is, but... It'd be easier if you just accepted the true faith, you know? That'd be great. Um, these places are still at, out of loot, yep. I don't want to take Cordofan yet because of this, obviously. Which is a little awkward, because we're not going to be able to take duchies for a while. That's a lot of prestige. Huh? We're almost halfway to the level of fame to get Illustrious. That's kind of crazy, actually. Budding Attraction. Nestled in bed under my hair skin, I drift to sleep in a warm haze. Standing before me is a magnificent hair that urges me to follow it into the drylands. As we reach a glade, my heart starts to pound, my body tingle, my soul to yearn. As I turn, the hair is gone and in its place is a beautiful... We get to choose! Usually they just tell us what we're attracted to, but we actually get to choose. We could be straight, gay, bi, or asexual. So we obviously want to be attracted to women. That makes everything a lot easier, I think. Because we need spouses and all that good stuff. So that already limits us to um, straight or bi. And bi has double the chances of cheating on paper <laughs> in this game. You would think that would double your chances of cheating and getting into trouble, right? So let's just, let's go with straight. Let's go with the old faithful for this one. Let's go with a straight Minkare. I mean, never, oh, Habib. All right, I guess we're giving it to Ku then. And then Ku can like control these territories. He's got enough stewardship that he can actually control four lands just like we can. Oh my god, pause. We aged up. <laughs> okay. So he could have these four and those could be the four he has. You know what I mean? Um, and he is very talented, so I don't hate that. How are, how are his heirs looking? Most standard kid in the world. Starts with one prowess. Oh, never mind, okay. And then Kareem, how are we doing? This kid's a giant, but with cancer. Oh, no. He's probably dead then, huh? He's fine now, but that cancer is probably not going away. A giant was cool. Neither of them are giants. He just got the giant trait through a random draw. That's crazy. That could have been really cool. Oh, well. All right, but we are back in it. We're good. How'd we do? Did we get a diplomacy and a stewardship? 
I think we just got a diplomacy and a stewardship. Not the best level I've ever seen, but okay. Two's, <laughs> two's better than one, I guess. I think one stat up is the worst age up you can get, I think. I'm not sure. I don't actually know what the odds are of these going up, to be honest, but... Hey, for 11 years old, he is looking real good. So you know what? We can't be too upset. Things are going well. He got diligent. That's great. We're 11. Five more years until Minkare is a legal adult in this world. We'll leave Kordofan mostly alone. We've already raided them. We can't raid Makuria. This place is a nightmare how strong that place is. And it's not going away anytime soon either. Whereas Elodia is actually like getting closer to being separated and weaker. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is tough stuff. But considering how tough things have been, it is going very well. Like, we can be pretty happy with how things are going. Oh, he's part of why our language, learn language scheme power was so good. Can we still only know five languages? Like, is that still our limit? Oh, can't interact with him. Okay. Elephant meat? Oh... A large elephant was recently... What is this? Do you hear these instrumentals in the background? Oh my god, they're going to work. A large elephant was recently killed in Kimmer by hunters working under the Hunter's Guild patronized by my great dynasty. Along the, Although the elephant's meat belongs to me, some at my court have suggested that I distribute the meat among some of the communities in Kimmer to demonstrate my generosity. Yes, divide the meat with everyone. Chieftain of Kimmer gets shared elephant meat with local villages for 10 popular opinion. Or no, I think I will keep the meat. You think I want 10 opinion from one county more than 50 prestige? I don't think so. No, I think I'll keep the meat, thank you very much. I appreciate the suggestion, but the answer is no. Alright. Oh, and he's not passing away anytime soon, that's the bummer. You can start committing murders at 14? I like how some of these things, like, you don't have to actually be an adult to do, like... 8 is enough for the struggle for power. 14 is apparently enough to start considering murder. We have an ultimatum in 10 months from 5 different counties. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be a whole thing here. So I guess let's make sure we're ready for that. 10 months, so... Basically when we're 12 years old. I think at 11 years old we're going to get our second personality trait. So hopefully we also crush that. We might be obscure... And not even ins not even insignificant yet, but you'll see. Oh 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 oh. Are they against Kareem? Hey Kareem, you need some help. Uh, can I join him? No. Yeah, offer to join war. Here we go. Offer to come to the aid of an ally, your liege, a defender of your faith in a holy war, or help a vassal put down a peasant revolt. Goes closer to forming a friendship with you. I I mean, we're not attacking anything right now, and we have the men for sure. I'm going to say yes. Let's help, because Kar Kareem might not be the best ruler in the land. Seven stewardship, sure. But he's a great marshal, and he's been helping me. We'll help him back. We got you, Kareem. I, I'm gonna help you out here. Offer to join war. You've joined the peasant uprising. Let's hit this. Um, he can even lead my men. I don't mind. Wow, we're almost at 2,000 men. Things are going... 1930... 60? Wow, what's going on with our military right now? We're about to be at 2,000? We could maybe fight off Makuria defensively. Obviously, defensively, you have a lot of advantages you don't have on offense. Kareem has 200 men. 400, I guess. That's not good. Ein Faraz under siege? I don't think so. You guys are going to have to leave that one alone. Bug is commanding his troops. Charming. Next, 10 to 378, the slaughter at Ein Faraz of 878 AD. Wipe him out. I guess we don't get our other personality trait at 11 because we're running out of time. 
Yeah, just try it. 9 to 338. We've lost 19 men so far. Qu quashing this rebellion here. The criminal... Oh, here we go. Okay. The criminal. While passing through the streets with my guardian, Onamore, we came by the pillory. A man was stuck there, begging for water or any kind of relief from his fate. Right. We've had some interactions with the pillory for sure. That criminal shouldn't even dare to look at me. Be arrogant. Plus one prestige a month. Vassals would like us five less. Scheme secrecy would go down. Mikari has no problem with the sense of worth. It's true, he doesn't. I'll get him some water from the well. Compassionate. Lose dread. Dread decay doubled. Intrigue minus two. Diplomacy plus two. More attractive, I guess. Eh. Water? I hope this mud will do the job. Callous. Being called both heartless and cold-blooded Mikari is indifferent to most. I think I know, obviously, which one I'm going to go with here. Minus 2 Diplomacy, plus 2 Intrigue, plus 25% Dread Gain, all that good stuff. I think easily what fits a Pharaoh best is Arrogance. Um, I know this is minus 5 to Opinion of Vassals, and that's not great. And Humble Characters won't really like it. But Minkare doesn't have a problem with his sense of worth. Minkare is, a very, is going to be a very proud, ambitious Pharaoh. Arrogant fits just fine. It's not the best trait in the world... But right now, we're tribal. So prestige is actually very powerful to have. Arrogance, not good in a feudal setting, but in a tribal setting, that's not bad at all. Yeah, we'll go arrogant. Criminals shouldn't even dare to look at me. Diligent and arrogant. What a combo. And our prestige is now much better off. Was Cordofan under siege? Not for long, it's not. Anamor of Amun-Ra has finished his Convert Faith. Nice! And only five months left on the culture. Alright, we're, we're now under control of Dar al-Sayyid, so let's get that one too. Go ahead and convince him of that faith you don't believe in, Anamor. Alright, Arrogant. That's actually, like I said, that's not bad in a tribal era setting. Because Prestige buys you a lot. For sure. Not the best trait, not nearly as good as Diligent, but we're there. Slaughter at West Court of Fan, there you go. You're welcome. Let him end the war first. Do we get anything for helping him out? My contribution is the whole thing. Yeah, I did everything. We won the war led by Chieftain Kareem of Dar al Ri against Malin Darod. God, that's quite the warrior, isn't it? So be it. Disband all. Alright, and we are not betrothed. True, because nobody is fitting for us. Yehid, it's not bad. But she is old, to be fair. And that's all she is. She's just not bad. She's not great, either. Pretty quick isn't bad, but... Oh, nice. Slow. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah, we are about to hit 2,000 levies. That is nuts, actually. Would you look at that? We are right there. Promote culture is almost done. That'll feel real nice to have a real culture, finally. What's going on? You can swing the scales of power. Your guardian Richard Shaman Onamore is getting influential. It's true. He is getting influential. He hit three. He did hit three. Oh, man. Did that happen last time? I don't entirely remember that, but I believe it. And they all side with the region other than Kareem? Really? Ak, Hadiaku, and Yehidit? All prefer the regent. That's insane. He can't overthrow me until he gets this to six, but still. Can't try to dismiss the regent. They can't even try. Here you need consent. Here you can't even try. Damn. We might have to swing that scales of power soon. And it's going to be hard to find someone to betroth to for sure. There's not a lot of options exactly for Menkara here. Oh, Menkara is 12. Promote culture, yes. Ein Ra is now ancient Egyptian. Uh, we got a martial and a learning. I think is what we got here. Martial and learning, okay. 
Man, our prowess has been six in a while. Our prowess might be stuck at six until we get some gear. I know some artifacts can get that up, but damn, that's a shame. We only have four more years of getting stats. I didn't realize it said when they were born on that. Is that new or has that always been there? Oh well. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh. The stat line is looking nice though, for real. I know the prowess is lower than I wanted the prowess to be. The marshal is still lower than I wanted it to be. But other than that, these st the stat line looking nice. Uh, is he still in fine health? He is. McCurry is at stress level too. Wow, calm down. Defending from them again. McCurry can't get a break. The Tolanid Dynasty is not brooking any quarter, dude. Specifically these guys right here. Every five years, they keep taking another crack at Mercuria. And they're on equal footing, but these guys have an ally. That Two allies that actually help them overcome them. Good luck, Mercuria. You're going to need it. I actually kind of want them to win that, just because... If the Tullinid Dynasty gets so strong that we, like... Can't even contest them when we get close to them. That's going to be a nightmare to deal with. That could be a nightmare to deal with. 2,700. And he has an ally in Naga. Which has another 900 on top. No shot. They're already losing that hard. <laughs> oh no. They're in so much trouble. Mikari, pretty tall for 12. I think this guy might be a bit big. We'll see. A friend of wood. Yeah, see, look. He's like the same height as Anamore, and he's 12 years old. What a unit. Friends are often so fickle and prone to betrayal, but never has my dearest friend ever betrayed me. My favorite toy is more than just a toy to me. He's my best friend. However, my guardian Anamore has been insisting that I cast my best friend aside and spend time with real children and properly socialize. A friend of wood, huh? Could lead to vengeful, forgiving, or shy. No. Hard pass. I guess I'm too old for him now. Alright. 20 stress. Let me pet Bast. Who, at this point, Bast should be about 9 years old. Still got some years in him, but he's starting to get a, be an older cat. Oh, Loremaster said reinforce the Darb Al Arbaeen for later for a future pharaoh that's more interested in trade with the West. I like that idea. Let's not worry about that for now. I find Bast outside, strutting around the yard. As soon as he spots me, he meows and saunters over, rubbing up against my leg. I spend many minutes crouched by his side, petting him and scratching him under the chin. And when I stand back up again, I feel lighter than I have in a long time. Thank you, my friend. Five stress. It used to be... Oh, that's right. We're diligent, so we only lose half the stress. That's going to be the one downside to, to diligent, for sure, is that stress loss is going to be tough. Wow, the the factions actually couldn't rise up against us. I was I was ready for it, and then uh, it just didn't happen. Well, would you look at that? All right then. Did Elodia grow again? It totally did. It took Kata right there. Oh my God, this place is getting so strong. I'm so scared of Elodia, and he's still around for a while. How's the hair look? The air looking, by the way. Hmm. Elusive shadow. Interesting. I'm a little shocked how often people are, <laughs> are in the nude in this area of the world. What's wrong with them? Why don't they like clothes? Now it's going on in the East Roman Empire. A liberty war that they're winning. Okay. Abbasid Empire. They lost their county, but otherwise they're doing okay. Walking his dog, okay. Lotharingia is about to lose their war to West Francia. What are they losing? The Kingdom of Burgundy. Losing a whole kingdom for that war. That's no joke. We could invite champions. I think we're doing okay on champions now, though, yeah. Pranking Onomore. Okay. My guardian Onomore is looking a bit confined, I'd say. 
He's taking things much too seriously, handling matters around court day in and day out. Perhaps I ought to lighten the mood a bit. I wonder how Automore would react if his clothes would go missing. Sneak into his chambers and sneak and snatch his clothes. 74% chance. No, I should be nice. Take a break, Automore. Loses 10 stress and he gains 25 opinion of us. Nah, he deserves some suffering. He's not even a real believer. The time isn't right. I'll sneak into his chambers and snatch his clothes. 74% chance we pull this off. Let's let's do a little prank. We're 12. We're the chosen son, but... We can have a little fun, I think. Success! <laughs> Success! I managed to sneak into Onimore's bedchamber and grab all of his clothes before he woke up. Onimore rose in a fury and gave chase down the corridor without a threat on his body. You annoying brat, hand me my clothes immediately or I'll wring your neck, he screams fuming through the nose. Onimore might not have liked my clever prank, but everyone else thought it was hilarious. And I'll do it again and again and again. He gains critical stress. We increase our intrigue by two? A good prank goes a long way. 50% chance of intrigue plus one and five stress. So we can take it out on Onimore. Give him critical stress. And he gains no raiment for five years. And he loses 25 opinion of us. All of that. But we get two permanent intrigue. And 50 Intrigue Lifestyle Experience. That's whatever. Or a 50% chance of one? No, I think this prank is perfect. This cult leader is pretending. He's a pretender. And we can't do without him yet. But we can punish him lightly. We can punish him in ways that doesn't give away what's happening here. And I'll do it again and again and again. Get him, Menkare. Let's go. A permanent two Intrigue increase. That's awesome. That is pretty sick. I like that a lot. Okay. Is there is there loot again? I was going to say, it had been a while. That loot's probably about to get taken. But we can raise some raiders over here to take the 19 over here. Go raid that real quick. Go ahead, Kareem. They're still too weak. <laughs> Five counties worth of angry populists, and they still can't rise against us. We need to be promoting culture. I forgot. I forgot. Masalit. That's going to take some time. All right, we have... No culture had no valid candidate. I have an ancient Egyptian... What are you talking about? Sahel Horseman. Interesting. And then West African Canoes? Raid overseas? Eh. Nah. I have a county now, though. Is the ruler has the most influence over their own culture? Maybe the ruler of the largest total number of the same culture counties in their realm will become the cultural head. Maybe I just need to give it more time to proc? I'm not sure, but we have one now. Habib, why did you have to turn down the true faith? Why did you have to be like that? It doesn't make any sense. Kareem, if you didn't have a wife already, I would suggest Yehid it. Oh, yes. Mogjean and Yehid it would be a good combo. Yes, that could get us... They're the right age for each other. That could get us some good children. Yeah, that could be really good, actually. I'm going to send this proposal here and see if Fatima... If, Fatima. Oh, God, I miss Fatima. See if Yehudit and uh, Magjin Gadabursi are willing to do that. Yeah, send the proposal. Yehudit married Magjin Gadabursi. They agreed. All right. Two very talented individuals that don't own any land. I think they're good for each other. Now, if only we could find someone good for me. <laughs> I saw a hail, I see a quick, but no. Yeah, no. We'll keep trying. You captured Sheik to lose uh, Magaja Layla during the siege. She's a wise woman. No ransom, unimportant courtier. That's tough. I don't think I want to quite execute her yet. That might be jumping the gun, but we might... This was raided already. 
Can't go here, can't go there. Alright, let's just bring the 19 back home then. Better than nothing. This episode might, time might be going a little faster because there's not much we can really accomplish at the moment. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Regent levering pos leveraging position. Got an unpressed claim on the Kenbit of West Cordophon. This, is, this was an abuse of power and caused 10 strife with Anamor's peer vassals. Hadiaku lost 20 opinion of Anamor. Okay. Sw scales against us. You're entrenched. Regency scales of power swings by 10 towards Anamor. He spent 125 piety to swing it. And a random domain county of Hadiaku's gains a powerful negative county modifier for 8 years. And he gained 75 gold out of it. He is on the cusp, isn't he? It, his loyalty is situational because his opinion of us got a little low. <sighs> Let's leverage some piety and bring it back. That would make his opinion even lower, though, to be honest. Uh, I kind of hate that we got his opinion so low, to be honest. Can we sway him? We can sway people now? Because we're 12? Or is it just specific people that we can sway? I can sway people now. Oh my god. Anamore, I'm about to sweet talk you for a second. I can sway at 12 years old? Since when can we sway at 12? That is so interesting. You just have to be an adult to do all these things. Okay. If we can get his stats up a bit. So that he's, so that he's loyal to us again. Because the fact that the situational is a problem. They're still siding with him over me. This is going to swing back towards us as long as I don't let it hit four. But Anamore is looking like he's making plays and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Mercuria, how's your war going? Not great. Not great. No, they are, they are definitely on the losing end of that right now. He's going to keep losing land to the Tullinids. That's not, that's not great either, because the Tullinid Dynasty is a huge monster. I don't know how we're going to deal with that when we get that when we get that far. I want to go here first. Get ourselves on the Nile. After this guy dies and splits. <gasps> he got infirm! Oh, that's a... That, you know, this is kind of dark to say, but that's really good for us. <laughs> that High Chieftain Daid II of Elodia is infirm. That means he's ailing, it means he's on his way out. And this land might split. He's got three children. Split it three ways? Three different duchies? Oh, yeah. And then the land would be way weaker and we could start making our move. A little patience goes a long way, though. A little patience goes a long way. Okay, we're about to hit 13. Oh, one diplomacy and that's it. <laughs> that's not it. All right, Minkari. That's not very good, but okay. Stat line's still looking good, all things considered. You can have a couple bad age-ups and still end up pretty well. Good soldiers. The current generation of young men from Dar al-Sayed have won fame for their bravery and strength while serving in my armies and garrisons and defending the locals against bandits. They bring much honor to their families. Nice to get strong lads for nine years from Dar al-Sayed. Nice. Control growth up and levy enforcement rate up. The young men of this province have achieved some level of renown for their bravery and skill in war. And you gain 50 prestige. We take that. Absolutely. Do I dare attack Cordofan now? No, I don't. Again, I don't want to border Elodia yet. We're just not ready for that. Not yet. We're doing better at prestige now. I could, I could get more military back here. Bowmen are cheap, right? Oh, yeah, they are dirt cheap. Look at this. They're two-thirds the price of a pikeman. I guess they're only two-thirds as good, maybe? I don't know. But I'm gonna buy... Th uh, another 200 bowmen, I think. That'll be really solid. 
And they're costing 1.2 prestige right now because they're at full maintenance trying to recover. Yeah. 181 prestige is enough right now, though. We'll be over 2,000 men. Good, good. So that when this place starts to fall apart, we will have an answer for it. And I think 13 is when we get our last personality trait as well. Be strong, Minkari. Oh my god. Kareem lost 20 opinion of Autumn War because Autumn War went and gave himself an unpressed claim on the chiefdom of Al Fasher. What do you think you're up to here? Well, he definitely thinks he's all that. This character is known to be ruthless in assessing who's fit for the levy. Oh. Disturbing confessions characters. Hopefully he confesses some disquieting things and no Raymond. He's wearing nothing but a smile. Attraction opinion plus 20 is hilarious, though. Um, He's established. Abuse power and cause 10 strife with Automore's peer vassals. It doesn't appear to be doing anything, though. Yeah, this scales of power thing is a little scary, isn't it? He can attempt to revoke titles from other vassals. He better not. He can attempt it, but he better not. Looks some potential secrets, non-believer, yeah. Blackmailing wouldn't help us, really. I wish I could swing the scales. Oh, I could with a hook. Oh, I see. I could with a hook. So if I do blackmail him, if I tell him that, oh, I know. I know your secret. I could use that to sway things in our favor. Why am I derping on how to do this? Here we go. We can blackmail him for a hook. This should be a strong hook, not a weak hook, if we're being honest, but okay. If he declines, I might reveal the secret 80%. He wants to protect the secret 80%. Yeah, I bet he does want to protect the secret. Maybe it's not time yet. I don't know how many points you get for swinging the scales with a weak hook, you know? Nothing beats a favor in politics. The Pharaoh's word is law when it helps. Like, these all give 10, like, points. I, I don't know how many this gives. If it's just 10, then that's not worth it right now. Maybe, possibly. Wait for that to swing a little more. God, it, I don't know. I've never had to deal with swinging the scales before. That's all new to me. But if we can sway him, get him on our side, and then hit him with that... Hit him where it hurts. And not in his raiment. <laughs> Damn. His personality has compassion for a child helps. Plus 65 is right now, and that's still only situational. Yep, Makuria lost their war for the Duchy of Nobatia. That was actually a, a decent chunk of land. That was three counties, right? That was five counties! The Tolanids are taking everything. Oh my goodness. That is actually insane. Wow. Okay, you know what? The bowmen are almost ready. I think we're going to take Cordofan soon. A feast for the senses. Ooh. Being at a feast is a flood of impressions. People are talking. The smell of all kinds of food fills my head. The guests are wearing beautiful clothes. The servants are carrying endless plates. And what was the meaning of that servant wench's wink just now? Berenice? No. She's a bleeder. And terrible stats for 13. It's also shiny, greedy. Diplomacy minus 2, but we get more income and more income per stress level. Minkari keeps a tight grip on his purse and is always looking for ways to engorge it. Adults can be so much fun to talk to. Gregarious. Plus 2 diplomacy, plus 5 attraction opinion. 15% personal scheme power. Okay, Minkari enjoys spending time with other people, maybe. I can't stop obsessing over the glint in that servant's eye. Lustful. Fertility up, intrigue, seduce, scheme, power. Oh, these are all options. None of which I was immediately considering, but none of them that I hate either. Greedy would almost make sense for a pharaoh. 
We already know he's diligent and arrogant. He could seek his own wealth in many forms, you know? And a monthly income boost never hurts. More income if we get stressed down the road. I mean, we've seen pyramid treasure rooms, right? We know the pharaohs were greedy. And they felt entitled to that greed. Like, there was nothing wrong with it. I think even a lot of the people agreed that a pharaoh should be greedy. Or should have all these things. So I think greedy fits really well. Minus two diplomacy is not great, but... It's not the end of the world, either. It's also shiny. Greedy. I think I'm gonna go with that. He's gonna be diligent, arrogant, and greedy. It's all so shiny. There you have it. We have extra prestige, extra gold, and a huge stat boost from diligent. That also gives us piety. That's Menkare's traits. I can work with that. Diligent, arrogant, and greedy. Okay. Let's roll. Like I said, I can work with that. Come on, Bowman. You should be done soon. It's time we take Cordofan to start preparing for our for our attacks on the Nile River. I can't believe... Dude, Mercuria is getting lit up right now. They're defending again? From who? Who are they defending against? From Naga? Why does Naga think they have that? They definitely don't. Mercuria will defend against that. No problem. Alright. The military is ready. Cordofan. We're taking one of your counties. Uh, what's their faith? Cushitic. Aren't these guys Cushitic? No, they're Safi and Safi. Are there any other Kushitic on this side? I don't want to get slammed in a holy war if, if that's what's going to do. You know what I mean? I think they're the only ones. Could we holy war for duchy here and not worry about other Kushitic rulers? I wish it showed me a list of people that were Kushitic. Um, they're all Coptic. Coptic, Coptic, Coptic. So none of these would join. Okay, well. We could take the whole duchy then if no one's going to help them. The duchy of Kordofan for 100 piety. Within the target title, all titles held by Kushitic rulers are, and any Aminus rulers are vassalized by you. Or are seized and any Aminus rulers are vassalized by you. Declare the war. Let's do this. We're ready. Our first holy war. With this war finished, we will be able to create a kingdom for Menkare and prepare... This is the final step of preparation for that... For Menkare to attack the Nile and own it when he becomes an adult. When he becomes of age. Let's make this happen. Oh, Kareem is at 33 right now. This man is insane. Doing really, really well. Go Kareem. I should have started a little closer, but they're going to try to defend it with their thousand men. Outnumbered more than two to one. I think you guys are out of luck here. Oh, 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 oh. What happened? What happened? What happened? Greetings, High Chief Menkari of Amun Ra's Refuge. My liege, I have some proposals for tightening up the crown's authority in the realm. All I need is your seal sitting alongside my own, of course, so that your vassals don't think you unjust. Except gets the law limited tribal authority... Characters can be imprisoned. Tribal rulers with non-tribal lieges may settle. Um, becoming feudal or clan. Gains has convenient scapegoat for 10 years. As characters increase their own authority in their realm and very conveniently manage to blame the entire thing on a subordinate. Okay. Why does he want this? What does he get out of this? Limited tribal authority. What does this get him? He's able to imprison people? Huh. I don't know why he'd want this. This seems only good for us. He abused his power, but this seems to only be good for us. 
And our vassals would appreciate this. Many types of them, at least. Um, I can't see what kind of vassal he is. Here? Uh, where do I see it? Here it is. They're both minority vassals. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't know why... Oh, minority vassal opinion plus 10. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing this, but I'm all for it. Sure, I'll let him do that. And it costs prestige, too. What is he on about? Okay, sure, I accept. We are we are now in limited tribal authority. Oh, minority vassal opinion minus 10. That's counteracted, so that actually went neutral. He is really using that power when he gets the chance, isn't he? Because it's loyalty situational right now. I need to get it back to selfless with this sway. Really hoping that that pays off. If not, I'm going to have to start paying some piety for sure. Whoa. Oh my god, he took all our prestige. I didn't see that part. I didn't see that part. It did not communicate that. Liege pays token prestige on mundane actions. Yeah, I see that, but it didn't say it was going to cost me prestige. Otherwise, it would have declined. Because we, we don't need the prestige that... Oh my god. Okay, sure. Oh my god. Damn you, Anamore. Damn you, Anamore. The game did not communicate that well, in my defense. It did not communicate that well at all. We captured Wagane. 11 Marshall, you should have died in the war. Cost prestige? Because it's a mundane action, we need the regent's permission? Okay, let me get this sway done, because this is not okay. Slaughter at Cordofan, 129 to 442. Animor is getting a bit too big for his britches right now. You better calm down. He's back to selfless. Can I execute the people I want to execute now without having to pay money? Or prestige? Nope. Alright, Anamore. I see how it is. I'm gonna have to swing these scales soon. Because you're acting kind of nuts. I don't want to spend piety like that, but we might have to. Split off. What's the garrison here? 568. That's actually a big garrison. Let's do that. Yeah. Send this 1283 over here. This 816 Kulk will take care of and they'll siege it up. Go get them. Wow, that is surprising to me. Yeah, come over to our lands. That'd be great. That sucks. That definitely sucks. Bass the gift giver. Two blue eyes follow me as I cross the hallway and a small meow breaks the silence as Bass pounces for my ankle. He has seen better days, but age has never stopped him. As he presses away, I see that he left a gleaming gift where he had been hiding. Thank you, kind sir. Another two gold, sure. Appreciate it. Okay, we're still swaying on him more. I gotta start spending this piety on swinging the scales, don't I? He's doing way too much. He's doing way too much. Let's leverage some piety. I don't... I want to keep him at selfless. Maybe I'll wait for one more sway. I know I keep saying I'm going to swing the scales and then I don't do it. I'm not good at spending. I'm much better at saving resources than spending resources. But this time, I, I really do think I have a good case. If we leave him at selfless, he shouldn't do anything too crazy right now. Because his loyalty is so good. That we can wait a bit before we try to swing those scales back. Alright, Kareem, light him up. Habib was slain! Oh, damn it! He was a great chancellor! Mob Jean, my court tutor. Yeah. That works. Alright. That's not bad at all. I don't need to give him land to do that either. So that works out. Alright, they're all wiped out. Yep, Habib was slain. That's right, he wasn't a true follower anyway. <laughs> Messed up, but it's true. 69 to 
600, the slaughter at Lagoa. Whoa. Got him. Captured Eddie. Champion. I can't believe actions like that cost prestige. That is so crazy. I will do as I please, old man. Try to stop me. Actually, you know what? Can you go back and disband? We don't need you anymore. Yeah, this, this war is won. We're set. Makuria's losing their war to Naga? How? Are they coming with all kinds of, like, allies? They're not. How are you losing this, Makuria? What are you doing? You outnumber him. You should win that. For sure. I don't know what y'all are doing over there. Few champions. That sucks. Do we actually have few champions, though? Because oftentimes it doesn't actually mean that. Tudama. No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We forbid, forbid. Seven, eight. Okay, we are actually down champions. I don't have the prestige to buy more, unfortunately. But I have been saving up money for a kingdom. 250 gold. And we're going to have enough counties. We do need a second duchy title. Oh, that's a bummer. Alright, create this then. 125 gold to get me 300 of my prestige back. And we get 25 legitimacy. Hopefully. This legitimacy thing has been really weird. Create the title. There you have it. We're back up on top prestige-wise. Feels good. We have the two duchies we need. Now we need 250 gold again to be able to square this out. 50 legitimacy, 400 prestige. Okay. Our, legit our legitimacy did go up. We're almost back to recognized, which is good. This is like the most neutral ever. It's just short duration down a little bit. That's it. So yeah, this is where we want to be because there's no negatives on recognized. So we like that. Uh, back to this. It's going to take five months. They can't hire mercenaries? No, this war is done. It'll finish up. We are now 14 years old. We got a stewardship, an intrigue, a learning. That was a, that was a good age up, actually. We got three skills that time. Very nice. Still only six prowess. We're going to need artifacts to make up for that, for sure. Two more years. Wait, what could we do at 14 again? There was something we could do at 14. Murder. I don't need to do that. <laughs> That's right. It was it was murder we could do at 14, of course. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Menkara is definitely turning into someone we could rock. We're going to have to make up this prowess with artifacts, but the rest of this I can vibe with. Enforce demands on the Duchy of Cordofan. You gain 100 devotion. You seize all of his land. Ominism's fervor decreases by 2. Their fervor increases by 4. Our fervor is already at 100, so we don't got to worry about that. I enforce my demands. To the obnoxious high chieftain Menkare, may your years be short and miserable. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Disband all. And with that... We have too, too many counties that I am going to hand off to Hadiaku soon. But first, we need to get this kingdom sorted, which means I need to get 40 gold together. Now, how, oh how, am I going to get this 40 gold together? There's 15 of it. That's a start. Let's get, let's get started over there. Raise local raiders. Uh, three months left is not ideal. Also, we're out of time, so I guess we'll start here next time. Man. Next time, a kingdom! And then, Menkare should also become an adult next time. Onomore is still being an absolute pain. I know we haven't swung the scales yet. And I definitely could with our, with our piety. 100%. Could also do it with the hook. But he is selfless right now. Let's leave it for now. He hasn't done anything since becoming selfless again. Getting that permanent two intrigue by stealing his clothes for five years actually ended up hurting us more than I thought it would. 
but it, it's not the end of the world. We'll be okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. We need to fix this prowess with artifacts. That's without a doubt. He's only got two more years. At best, this is going to get to eight. So we're definitely going to have to work on his prowess. His marshal is average. Hopefully he gets one more to make it double digits at least. That'll be a much nicer number to look at. But he's got positive bonuses, but not by much. I'd like that to be better. The rest of his stat line is looking really solid. I'll see all of you again. Next time.